Hi there. Welcome to Chapter 9, Reporting and Analyzing long lived Assets. In this video, we will focus on explaining the accounting for plant and asset expenditures. What are plant expenditures? Plant assets are resources that have physical substance, a definite size and shape, that are used in the operation of a business and are not intended for sale to customers. These assets are expected to provide services to the company for a number of years except for land. You will see plants referred to as property plants and equipment or plant and equipment or just fixed assets. These plant assets are critical to a company's success because uh, they determine the company's capability capacity and therefore its ability to satisfy its customers. How do we value cost of plant assets? We use the historical cost principle. This principle requires that companies record plant asset at cost. When we say cost, we mean all expenditures necessary to acquire an asset and make it ready for its intended use. The cost is measured by the cash paid in a cash transaction or by the cash equivalent price paid when the company used non-cash assets. In payments, the cash equivalent price is equal to the fair value of the assets given up or the fair value of the assets received, whichever is more clearly determinable. Once cost is established, it becomes the basis of accounting for the plant over its useful life. Determining which cost to include in a plant asset account and which cost not to include is very important. Now, if a cost is not included in a plant asset account, then it must be expensed immediately. Such costs are referred to as revenue expenditure. On the other hand, costs that are not expensed immediately but are included in the plant asset account are referred to as capital expenditures. Cost of land. Companies often use land as a building site for a manufacturing plant or office site. Thus, the cost of land includes all necessary costs incurred in making land ready for its intended use. Cost of land would typically include cash purchase price, cost of closing such as title and attorney fee, real estate broker's commission, accrued property taxes, other liens on land assumed by the purchaser at acquisition. Always increase land with a debit. Example, Hayes Company acquired real estate at a cash cost of 100,000, the property contained an old warehouse that is raised at a net cost of 6000 7005 is the cost, less the 1000 price proceeds from the salvage material. That gives us 6000 Additionally, expenditures are the attorney's fee, 1000 and the real estate broker commission, which is 8000 the question wants us to determine the amount to be reported as the cost of the asset of the land. So the first thing we have to do is to draft out what is going to be included in this cost. So we have the land, which is 100,000, the net removal cost of the warehouse, which is 6,000, that was the 7,005 minus the 1,005, which was the salvage value the attorney fee of 1,000, the estate broker commission of 8,000, that gives us a total of 115,000 for the cost of the land. Cost of land improvement. Land improvements are structural additions with limited lives that are made to land, such as driveway, parking lots, fences, landscaping, and on the ground sprinklers. The cost of land improvement includes all expenditures necessary to make the improvement ready for the intended use. Land improvement have useful lives even when well maintained. They are expensed by depreciating over the useful lives. 
cost of buildings. Buildings are facilities used in operations such as stores, offices, factories, warehouse, and airplane hangars. Companies charge to the building all necessary expenditure relating to the purchase of the construction of a building. When a building is purchased, such costs include the purchase price, closing costs, such as attorney fees, titles, insurance, and real estate brokers. Costs to make it ready for its intended use consist of expenditures for remodeling and replacing or repairing floors, electrical wirings and plumbing. When a new building is constructed, its cost consists of the contract price plus payments made by the owner for architect fees, building permits and evacuation costs. Now we're going to cost of equipment. Equipment includes assets used in operations such as store checkout, counters, office furniture, factory machineries and delivery trucks and the likes. The cost of equipment includes all costs incurred in acquiring the equipment and preparing them for use. These costs typically include cash purchase price, sales taxes, freight charges, insurance paid by the purchaser, expenditures for assembling, installing, and also testing. Example, Leonard Company purchased a delivery truck at a cash price of 22000 Related expenditures are sales taxes, 1320 painting and lettering, 500 motor vehicle license, $80, and three years accident insurance policy, 1600 Cost Compute the cost of the delivery truck. When we're doing this, you have to find out what actually belongs to the cost of equipment okay so we have the cash price which was 22,000 we have the sales tax which is 1,320 we have the painting and lettering which is 500 and the cost of the delivery truck is going to be 23,820 we noticed that the license and the insurance was not included because those are not costs that are required uh, to make it or to bring it to use now we're going to prepare a journal entry to record this cost. We have equipment, 23,820. We have the license expense, $80. That's going to be expense directly. The prepaid insurance also is going to be expense directly. And then we have cash of 25,500. During the useful life of a plant asset, a company may incur costs for ordinary repairs, additions, and improvements. Ordinary repairs are expenditures to maintain the operating efficiency and productive life of the unit e.g motor tune-ups oil changes and the likes ordinary expenses or repairs are debited to the related plant asset account however in contrast addition and improvement are cost incurred to increase to increase the operating efficiency productivity or useful life of the plant asset Additions and improvements are debited to the related plant and assets account. A lease is a contractual agreement in which the owner of an asset leaser allows another party, which is the leasee, to use the asset for a period of time at an agreed price. Advantages of leasing an asset versus purchasing it include reduced risk of obsolescence little or no down payment and share tax advantages example drummond corp purchased a delivery truck and incurs the cost below explain how the company should account for each of this cost invoice cost of 15,000 cash sales tax of 900 delivery cost of 500 200 for painting and lettering 600 for annual insurance and 80 dollars for motor vehicle license some of this we've done before so we have cost of truck the sales taxes will be included in the cost delivery cost will be included the lettering that will be included the six hundred dollars for annual will be an operating expense and also the eighty dollars for motor vehicle <clears throat> license will also be an operating expense this brings us to the end of this module 
in the next video we're going to be talking about applying depreciation methods to plants and assets see you then